Hey guys and gals, sweet project cars here with a cool trick and affordable and simple ways for the do-it-yourselfer. First off, you're going to need your shop rag, shop towel. We like the Scott blue towels. All the tools will be in the show more of the video description. Straight up lacquer thinner. Spray this on, just like this. And I had somebody ask me a question if rubbing alcohol is damaging to your paint. No. Is lacquer thinner damaging to your paint? No. Take that, you soak it down good. Take your 3M tape. This is the only tape we use and we do it because it doesn't hurt the paint, doesn't leave a residue. Works really well. You take that and usually I would go over the whole thing but I'm not going to as I said. T -t 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 tape that on there like that. And you'll let that set about 30 minutes. If you can set it outside in the heat, it'll work even better. Now what I like to do when I stick it on is I'll pull the top piece of tape back and I'll spray some lacquer thinner down in here. Stick it back on. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Be right back. All right, we're back. All you do is take this off. Very simple. You can see it's still wet. Take your plastic razor blade and you go just like this. Look at that. Comes right off. Magic. Tape comes right off. You then take your blue cloth. And you can see the glue is still on there. You just take your lacquer thinner that's still on the rag and wipe it up. And the glue is off. Now, the second method that we're going to use, hair dryer will not work, but the old Kawasaki heat gun or heat gun will work just fine. We show you both methods because some of you don't have one of these, so no big deal. Warm it up, doesn't take very much. Gone. Take your same towel. Clear coat is fantastic, and that sticker is off. 